Lupe was telling me about the gunshot sustained by her husband, Sergeant Owen Yi. Owen was found with wounds all over his body, his chest, arms, and legs. One of his hands was cut off. Recalling her husband's fate was too much for Alma. Owen was among the three soldiers attacked by NPA rebels on February 1 in Barangay Kibalabag, Malay Balay City, Bukidnon. Owen, along with Corporal Pat Non and Corporal Nino Christopher Talabor, were in civilian clothes and unarmed when they were gunned down. They had just gotten their allowance and other items needed for their bayanihan program in the area. Sobrang sakit. Grabe yung ginawa nila. Brutal. Gusto ko po na hostisya. The Army says the attack proves that the NPA was violating its own ceasefire, which was supposed to have been in effect at the time of the attack. The soldiers sustained at least 24 gunshot wounds each. For the Army, it's overkill. Talagang uh, murder yung, ano, yung dating. Ano na yan? Crime. President Duterte visited the slain soldiers in Cagayan de Oro. He comforted their families who were crying for justice. The president has already ordered troops to get ready for battle and prepare to fight to the last bullet. Almalu says these words are what widows like her have been waiting to hear. From Cagayan de Oro City, Ina Andolong, CNN Philippines.